In this new do's and don'ts, we're going to learn beginner oil pastel gradients best practices. And for the second time, my niece is helping us spot common beginner mistakes as she has never touched artist oil pastels before. She did incredibly well. Her background looks amazing, but looking at the footage, I spotted some things we'll want to look at so you get a full picture about oil pastel gradients best practices. Hi, I'm Hoswaze. Welcome to my channel. Here you'll find tips and tutorials about watercolors, oil pastels, gouache, and more. Here's a brief overview of which supplies are best before we get into the nitty gritty. You can find all links and references in the description of this video. For oil pastels, I've found smooth and thick mixed media paper works very well. This one is 250 GSM. Be mindful of your paper's texture with oil pastels. I noticed a smooth kind with some tooth is best. You may want to avoid a slick and glossy surface as well as one with too much tooth. Among papers that resemble the one we'll be using in this video, not all brands are equal. You will get results that are more or less satisfying with the blending, so make sure to test out if you're not happy with how the pastels feel on paper. Masking tape is extremely helpful with oil pastels. We will be applying pressure on the sheet later on and having it fixed to a workstation is great. I'll be using Art Philosophy oil pastels here. They blend really well. Be aware that your oil pastels, just like the paper, might affect how well colors blend together. Mine don't feel overly oily, but they glad on paper well, like lipstick. It's the kind of sensation you would want to feel in order to get good blending results. And last, we'll need a few paper towels for the blending. Lucille's version is the orange and yellow one, mine the blue-green one. If you enjoy what's next, please give her some love in comments. Now I'll let Lucille take over with the do's and don'ts. Move from top to bottom. In general with art mediums, we prefer to start from the top. It's especially true with oil pastels because they smudge and stain easily unless you're very careful. I recommend to also lay your pastels back in their box when you switch colors or on a paper towel, so they don't leave some marks on your workstation. Feel free to go crazy. The way to apply the oil pastel won't affect the outcome much, but with this medium, what's great is you can let go and have fun with messy and fast scribbles. There is no need to be too careful when covering such a large area. For instance, you see this taking a bit longer than I, as she is careful applying the pigment, but she doesn't really need to. Wrap the paper towel around one finger. This is for your own convenience. If the paper towel is firmly wrapped around your finger in a thick bundle, not only will you prevent the stains on your skin, but it will be much easier to blend the colors to apply the strengths you need to do so effectively. You can see here Lucida was having difficulty blending. She doesn't look comfortable with a paper towel, which is natural since it was the first time. Blend with circular motion and some pressure. Don't be afraid to have fun once more here and blend the pigment with circular motions and pressure. This will create a very smooth and velvet-like background which is super satisfying with oil pastels and you will avoid remaining patches of paper showing. It's hard to see here so I'll show you a close-up but when you don't use circular motions and pressure, you might miss spots like Lucy did in places. You see in this particular spot, she was going back and forth. Another reason for missing spots is if she didn't have enough oil pastels down in the first place, which wasn't the case for her. If this happens to you, just add some oil pastels. Blending shouldn't feel difficult, but you need these conditions. Good oil pastels, good smooth and thick paper with some tooth, enough pigment on the page, circular motions, pressure. If you want to learn more about blending techniques, I made a video recently about that. I'll link it up here and in the description. Pay special attention to where two colors meet. The trickiest part in a gradient is going to be that middle part where two colors meet. Lucide was adding horizontal strokes there and blending them with her back and forth motion, which caused some of those streaks to still show when she was done. A rod blending one dark shade with a light one. This one is on me, as my version isn't perfect either in this middle part where the gradient takes place. Dark colors in oil pastels easily overpower light colors. 
Imagine blending black and white. Here, the fact I was using a very dark turquoise shade made it more difficult to get a smooth gradient against the light green. While in Lucille's case, working with two light colors such as these shades of orange and yellow made the blending less tricky to work on. I don't think it's a matter of just using light colors, but instead try and pick two colors that are either both dark or both light. Add contrast to your gradient. I decided to use brown on top and white at the bottom to create a more interesting gradient. This is not a must, but it can make your gradient a bit more sophisticated. And it goes back to what I was saying before. Those gradients worked better than the one I got in the middle because the shades were both dark on top and light at the bottom. Change the paper towel often. For your own comfort, it will be better to switch paper towels when the first gets too dirty. Be also careful to switch paper towels or the side you use to blend whenever you blend a different color. Remove the tape carefully. Here you can see the tape has torn of the paper. It happens to me too and there are two ways to prevent this. The first is to be very careful and slow while removing the tape. The second is to take away a bit of the stickiness from the tape before using it, like so. I hope you enjoyed this beginner oil pastel gradients best practices video. I was pumped my niece wanted to do another one together so please encourage her in comments. You may also help this video being seen by others by liking, commenting or sharing it. For more videos like this one, subscribe, turn on notifications and visit me on Instagram at Art for more art and behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time!